Hey guys and gals, it's Andrew and welcome back to another tutorial. I haven't done one of those in a long time, so I'm glad to be back at it again. Today I'm going to show you a simple method that I've recently adapted for making LEGO train cars like ones on bogies at 7 studs wide. As someone who's been building North American locomotives for a few years at 6 to st 6 or 8 studs wide, and even 10 studs wide for my big boy, 7 studs wide is definitely new to me. I have noticed that 7 studs wide has become very popular for a lot of British trains and locomotives over the years, so... So today I'm going to show you a simple method for building rail cars at 7 studs wide using the technique I have recently adapted. It's also the only technique I have so far, but anyway, let's get started. So, first things first, I'm just going to take... One of the, I'm just going to take a uh, Lego train wheel first. Oh yeah, I just positioned it right here, so... And I'm using a, a software called LeoCAD. It happened to be the best software for me because it was easy to figure out. I tried using Lego, LEGO Digital, Digital Designer Design a few months ago. But it just didn't seemingly uh, feature the uh, necessary train parts, you know, like the driving wheels and stuff that I really needed. And so I pretty much gave up. I think it was because I couldn't run it in online mode for some reason because I was limited to offline mode. But luckily LeoCAD is uh, working out pretty well for me and it's got pretty much all the... Uh, necessary stuff too so I'm just gonna do a simple uh I'm just gonna start this off with a, a simple train bogey that we're pretty much all familiar with so first things first naturally I gotta grab a, a bit of a plate I mean I know on uh, Lego trains that I uh, would build from a uh, back in my uh, golden era when I would pretty much uh do Lego City style stuff Compared to what I do now, it's pretty much my own custom stuff. This is kind of how they would uh, do the bogies and stuff. I mean, like on the 2010 Hogwarts Express coach, you definitely see the bogies being built out like this. Um, excuse the uh, dogs barking in the background and my uh, air conditioning unit. Because it gets pretty hot in my bedroom. Not to mention this is, uh, well right now it's May. Well, right at the end of May, so it's definitely hot as heck. In the southern U.S. in Alabama, so a southern U.S. state, mind you. So, all right, just gotta hit the next step button with Leo Cad. It's just working first. Okay. Now I ended up having a skip step skip, but oh well. Okay, let's get our train pin. Okay, get that. Okay. That like so. Put that on, and the. All right. So what we've got here is essentially your average uh, Lego train bogey, pretty simplistic one. What some would see is a, a four wheel one, or you could also call it a two axle one. So now what we're gonna do next is um, I'm just gonna grab a uh, round. I'm just gonna grab a plate with a, a hole in it. I mean, there's different varieties you could choose from. I'm just going to go with a 4x4 four four round plate for this. I'm sure some more advanced builders probably have another technique of their own. Ah, so next thing we're going to do is take a 2x2 two two plate with a centered stud. And this is actually a pretty important part, so we're just going to lay this just about right here. I'm not going to lay it right on uh, this area because then it would come in contact with the uh, pin on top. So, just to keep it from interfering with that or disturbing that, then I'm just going to position it like so. Okay, first thing, just got to hit the next step button so that, uh, you know, I get the next step when, uh, All right. I also might as well uh, put it on the other side as well. Okay, make sure that step system is working well. Ah, okay, there we go. So next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a three stud wide 
plate. And then we're going to take a four stud wide plate. I'm just going to use a 4 by 12 because that's pretty much the longest they uh, got. And pretty much the longest uh, four stud wide plate you can pretty much find. Place it in the same manner. And... Okay, I think they might be misaligned. Hang on. Um. Okay, it probably might not be misaligned for you, but in case it's possibly misaligned, what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do a check for a positioning is to pretty much place a one by six. I mean, any six stud wide brick would also work. Or plate, I mean. I kind of want it positioned like this. You know, there's a half a stud room each side. I mean, I'll show a real life effective after uh, this part. All right, so I'm just gonna take a. Uh... All right, take another like that, and. Okay. It I don't think it's lining up properly. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it should be lining up something like that. I mean, granted, it's not going to align how, um, even stuff that up plates within that and at an even number of studs wide would, but. So that's definitely another uh, tricky part of uh, making stuff at seven studs wide. But either way, that's pretty much okay. Okay, and that's pretty much a, a simple seven stud wide uh, half flatbed we got. I'm just gonna make a copy of this and just turn this copy around. Like that. Um, okay, some reason it's not aligned correctly. I mean, I can just fix that. It shouldn't be too hard to fix because I can just pretty much adjust the uh, snap movement thing. And yeah. There's our uh, simple. Flatbed Leo. There's a simple seven stud flatbed pretty much laid out. And there is a, there is actually a link in the description to my uh, Patreon page with the uh, post where um I will actually uh, post the file in and uh, using the step features you'll be able to figure out how I pretty much built the thing. Built the thing. I might as well play it for you like so and that's pretty much the last step. Now, granted, this is so far the first model I'm actually going to make uh, public because while I have posted a few other of my uh, models to my uh, Patreon page, it's only for a Patreon, so that way, frankly, let's be honest, it's not kind of fun when someone copies your design, so if anyone wants to try to copy my design, well, first of all, they're probably going to need to pay some money to be a Patreon, so that, so that way they can even access my designs. But I will uh, make a disclaimer that if you do copy any of my designs, please give me credit for it. Whether you put it in a Facebook post or Instagram post. I mean, if you, you forget to, okay, it's... Okay, but I mean, but if you upload it to YouTube or pretty much make it public, please uh, credit me. I mean, if hopefully if it doesn't get out of hand, maybe I won't have to be so forceful on that. But maybe if it does, because uh, people are not crediting me for it, then maybe I might possibly not make my models public. I mean, public. I mean, just in case that happens. But anyway. Anyway, with uh, that said, that's pretty much, uh, there's pretty much nothing else I uh, need to say. So, let's skip straight into the real world. So if you follow these steps correctly, you should get something like this when you're actually building it in real life. So, what you're essentially seeing is the center stud one lining up with, uh, I'm actually wrong, it's not with the uh, holes you apparently want to line it up with, it's kind of in this zone 
you see with the you see with those and if you want you can always just use a one by six temporarily to see if it's aligned correctly i mean if it's aligned correctly you should see it pretty much going through half a stud if you were to draw a line But yeah, that's pretty much a simplistic tutorial on how to make a Lego train at seven studs wide. Specifically for rail cars on bogies. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and helped found it informative. If so, definitely press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that way you won't miss any future uploads like this. Again, link in the description to see the file for how I pretty much built that simplistic flat car. You know, that seven stud white flat car. Also in the description are links to my Facebook page, Instagram page, and my second channel as well. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Or whatever I post next. Bye-bye.